Okay, and I think we're good. So, it's time for another out and about with cool dude Clem. Yep, just some idiot talking into his camera while other people stop and stare, wondering what the hell he's doing. Also, I'm going to try and make sure I don't shoot so much sky, because that makes the picture come out a little bit dark. Talking of which, I guess that's the first thing I can talk about while I just take a wander around. I'm actually going to Tesco to get some more drink, but still. I'm walking off my dinner. Yes, just what is with the weather this year? We've had only about three days of hot weather, and the rest has been bitterly cold. I really don't get that. I mean, it's abnorm this year has been abnormally cold. I mean, yeah, there was the odd 30 degree day here and there, but you know, there's nothing really. I feel like we're just going from one winter straight into the next. And you know me, I hate winter. I like it when it's nice and hot. Cause that's kind of whether I like, at least the trees still got the leaves on. But yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to say while I'm out here doing this vlog. Anyway, when I get this uploaded to YouTube, we'll see if I can get the whole 50 frames per second in the video. Now, I tried uploading a 50 frame per second video on YouTube the other day, although this camera only shoots 480p, well, actually 576p, but uh, on YouTube, it'll get knocked down to 480p. There seems to be no option for 50 frames per or 60 frames per second at 480p, which is kind of weird. So I'll have to upscale this to 720p and then upload it. And hopefully, that will work. Of course, after I do the proper deinterlacing and everything. And, uh, stuff. Look at that. People just throw their litter everywhere. I'm sure people don't know what bins are for. There's another thing right there. See? Just thrown on the ground with no regard for keeping the place tidy. I don't know if I say that and I've got them most messy room in the universe, but still, when I'm outside, I don't chuck all my stuff on the ground. <sighs> but just before I go into Tesco, thought I'd take a walk, look, walk along the back of the new Tesco that's being built. Apparently, this is a new Tesco. I didn't even know until they started putting the signs up on the building. Tell you one thing, I'm getting tired of these nights getting longer and the days getting shorter. Bring back my long days and short nights, damn it! I don't know what the deal is with this part of the building right here. Well, that's all about. Don't know what they're doing there. Oh, they've put something up there. It's like Transformers or something. Of course, it would help if I was pointing the camera at it. Although, I don't know. I've just fallen down a hole. I thought you'd like to know that. Yeah, there's something up there. No idea what it was. There wasn't anything up there last time I came along here. Well, like storage containers or something. Not sure why we need a new Tesco anyway, but still. One thing I wish they would do is open a new path that's at the end of this building because that would be a nice shortcut to the current Tesco that we have. 
course I can remember when all along here it was just old factories that have been shut, closed down for many years. In fact, a friend of mine, and me and a friend of mine, back when we were kids, it was even closed back then. And we went into the grounds to see what it was about, and there's a person, so I better shut off. But like I was saying, there's a pathway right there that they've made, which would be a great shortcut to the current Tesco we have. And that means I wouldn't have to walk along this road that we're coming up to right now, because, well, for one thing, it's longer, and another thing is that there's another person coming. I don't want anyone to think that I'm filming them. If there's any vehicle that's got a siren on it, like a police car or something like that, it's always this road they go along. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now until I've got my stuff and then I'll be back. Okay, it's getting darker now. I just thought I'd take the long way home. Something just flashed on my screen right there. I don't know what that was. I just don't know what that was. Alright, I decided I'd walk along this road and take the long way home because there'd be nobody on this road apart from the cars. And what happens? Some random, nameless person comes along behind me. So I go across the road. And she crosses the road too. But she seems to have disappeared now, so... It's weird. I think all these other people, they're just randomly generated. To just be a nuisance, and as soon as they're out of range, they cease to exist. And they're just spawned at random. Like you can randomly spawn a character in Gary's mod. And then destroy them afterwards. So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, that place that me and a friend went to, when it was just a factory there, and we had a look on the grounds, I kick myself these days. Because when we were having a look around there, I found these old speakers. They were sort of, yeah, they were quite vintage speakers actually. I think they were just PA speakers and uh, they were sort of shaped like a quarter slice of pie, which is the best way I can explain it. And they had two 12 inch speakers in them. They had a date on them printed. 1962 and I really wish that I had taken those speakers see how good they sound and stuff like that I'm gonna have to put this on to night mode so prepare for extremely jerky motion okay here we are in night mode It looks a lot brighter on the camera than it is in real life, and the road looks really pink now for some reason. Even though the lights are orange. But anyway, that's how things go here. And the other thing I was going to say before I got cut off by all these random people about that road outside Tesco that I have to go along to get there and all the emergency vehicles come along there it's always that road that they go along if there's any road if they're gonna be out anywhere it's that road and nowhere else which is really horrible when I have to go to Tesco and there's one of those coming along with its lights going and its siren blaring. It's painful. Because I don't hear things the same as other people do. I mean, yeah, 
mostly I hear things the same as other people. It's, um, I hear things pretty much the same as anybody else does until you get to a certain level. And then I hear things way louder than what anybody else would hear it. So something that's just may sound a, just a tiny bit loud to somebody is absolutely painfully loud to me. Because that's just the way things are. And I haven't been looking in the camera to make sure to show where it's pointing. So I mean, so I see where it's pointing. And I've really run out of things to say. While I walk home, dogs is another thing I hate. Why do people have to have dogs? I mean, if you are a dog owner, I've got nothing against you. But dogs hate me. And I can tell you it's mutual, because I hate them as well. You know, I'll just be walking along, minding my own business, just keeping myself to myself like I normally do. And all of a sudden, <laughs> Fights the life out of me. I swear one of these days I'm either going to get mauled or I'm going to have a heart attack from that. Why can't they just keep them inside? They're going to have a dog, keep it inside or keep it on a lead. If I had my way, I would make it so it would be illegal to own a dog. Unless... There's a reason. So police can still have their bloodhounds. Blind people can still have their seeing eye dogs. And, you know, buildings where a lot of security is needed, they can have their guard dogs, but, you know, as just pets in general, I join, that's where I draw the line. So this world would be a better place for me! 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 Because that's what a lot of people think. They think I'm selfish. So I thought I'd really be selfish. But it's true what I say about dogs. Also, people think I'm weird. And they'd be right because I am weird. But you know what I say? It's better to be weird than just a normal boring person, because that's boring. I like to be weird, because weird is interesting. So, weirdness forever. It's good to be weird. So anyway, that's it from me, because my battery's about to run out, so until next time, goodbye. Turn that lead and stick it on the resistor and then we shall cut up to the mains. Alright, okay, gotta do audio check. Is that open? The Cortex Clips Electronic Workshop? Today? What am I gonna do? Because that's how my voice seems to go for some reason, I don't know why. Hell, wouldn't my sons here, my sons? Yes? 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 Y